Hello everyone! Welcome to the Animal Documentary Playlist of Sit and Stay. I am your host, Meredith Marks, and I am here to show you the interesting facts of the species Tridacna gigas, or the giant clam. With a slideshow and plenty of pictures at hand, I will now start our documentary about this underrated species. Here is some background information about mollusks and bivalves before we start, just so you know what I'm talking about. I'll begin with some definitions. The mollusk phylum falls under a category of animals known as invertebrates, or animals lacking a backbone. Mollusks prefer aquatic or damp living spaces, and most tend to have an external shell made of mostly calcium carbonate. The term bivalve refers to the mollusk with a hinge shell, or two shells hinged together. This class includes scallops, mussels, oysters, clams, etc. Here is the physical description. There are a few distinct features of the giant clam. Firstly, the shell aperture has four to five large, inward-facing, vertical triangular projections. Secondly, the shell is very heavy and thick, without any skews, although juveniles may have a few skews. They also have an inhalant siphon, or hole, without tentacles. There are other characteristics too. The mantle is fused, except for the inhalant and exhalant siphons. The mantle is usually golden brown, green, or yellow, and has variations of iridescent colored spots. These colors can include blue, purple, or green. These colorations occur especially around the edges of the mantle. The clams also have clear, pale spots, used to receive light for photosynthesis. The algae lives inside the clams, and therefore needs to do photosynthesis to prosper. The larger ones can have so many spots that it is hard to tell all the colors. So, the larger individual mantles may appear solid colors of blue or purple. A Giant Clam's Diet You may have heard stories about clams that catch human scuba divers and eat them. I know I did as a child. First of all, sorry to break the news, but uh, they don't have a taste for us. They are not a killer clam or a man-eating clam. Their diet is from a mutually beneficial relationship with unicellular algae, or zooxanthella. The algae gain protection from the clam, and the clam eats the carbon byproducts from the process of pho photosynthesis. The zooxanthella rest in the mantle's edges, packed together. The zooxanthella tend to help the clam's shell go super big. The clams also eat microscopic organisms in the form of plants, phytoplankton, and animals, zooplankton. They filter these foods to their two siphons, or holes, which are organs some mollusks have to take in and explode water. The siphon that takes in the water is known as the inhalant siphon, and the one that expels the water is known as the exhalant siphon. Where do they live? They usually live in shallow lagoons and coral reef flats in the South Pacific and Indian Oceans. They are mostly found in these places within 20 meters of the surface. They also like to live in sandy substrates and, or, coral rubble. Giant clams are sessile, or immobile once they pick a spot. Reproduction and Development These clams reproduce sexually by broadcast spawning. Broadcast spawning is when the clams release eggs and sperm into the water. There, the eggs are fertilized. The fertilized eggs float around for about 12 hours before hatching. Fertilization happens in open water when they're super tiny. Then they swim around and feed in the water until they are big enough to settle down and begin adulting. The phase where their tiny selves swim and feed is known as the planktonic larval stage. After hatching, they develop a foot, 
which is used to swim on and move on the seafloor until they find their forever home. Once they start adulting, they stay in that one spot for the rest of their life. Size and weight. This giant clam may have a shell that can reach up to 59 inches or 1.5 meters long. It is not unusual for them to live up or over 100 years. And the fully grown ones can be over 500 pounds or 249 kilograms. Value and cost. Since the clams cannot be taken from the oceans and seas anymore, because of their protection, their value has gone way up. If you have a large shell of at least 24 inches, then you've got yourself a very expensive clam shell. Several of the sizes of 30 inches on eBay have sold for 900 US dollars and above. They are only gaining at price. I've been watching them on eBay for three years now. And in 2017, I bought my first Tridacna Giga shell, which was over 35 inches for 700 US dollars. Now, that one would be at least 2000 US dollars today. The bigger the shell, the more valuable it is. I have another giant clam shell that I've had for two years since 2018, and it's 30 inches long. It has a pearl on it. Now, the pearl isn't one you would want to put in jewelry. It is known as a blister pearl because it is fused with the shell. A pearl is formed by a piece of sand or other material that gets stuck in the clam. The clam, when irritated, secretes over the piece of sand or whatever, and it adds layers. It kind of sounds like when an eyelash is stuck in your eye and you're desperately trying to get it out, right? Pearls are used in jewelry a lot of times, and their value varies by many factors. Oysters are the most popular to gain pearls from. There are specific farms where they harvest pearls from the animals. Blister pearls are very common, so they are not as valuable as other loose pearls. However, the value of the pearl is raised when it's bigger in size, or is from an endangered species, or a larger species such as the Tridacna gigas. There are not a lot of resources when it comes to Tridacnigus pearls, so I will have trouble determining the value of my 30 inch Tridacnigus clamshell. An endangered species. In the 1970s, giant clams were poached because their meat was believed to cause sexual desire or excitement, also known as an aphrodisiac. In the 1980s, these clams were popular for aquariums. Now, the Tridacna gigas are protected all over the world as an endangered species. Yet, the population is still dying despite our efforts to help them grow again. The largest of the largest. The largest known Tridacna gigas was found around 1817 on the northwestern coast of Sumatra, Indonesia. It measured 137 centimeters, or 4 feet and 6 inches. It is two shells together, weighing a whopping 510 pounds, or 230 kilograms. The whole animal alive is estimated to have weighed 550 pounds, or 250 kilograms. Other interesting facts. One. Once full grown, these clams cannot close their shell completely. Two, no two giant clams have the same coloration. They can all be beautifully multicolored. Number three, the giant clams close their shells as defensive, not for aggression. Number four, the Tridacnagigus under observation tends to grow 4.7 inches or 12 centimeters in a year. However, it is hard to determine the growth otherwise, like in the wild. Number five, their shell, like many other mollusk shells, is mainly comprised of calcium carbonate.
Thank you for your interest in this breathtaking species. If you like this video or would like to see more of my content, I'd love for you to hit subscribe and press the like button. And if you're interested in submitting an idea for consideration in my organization, you can comment or message me via Instagram or Facebook. I've provided links in the description. And here are some resources that I've supplied for you if you're interested in learning more about these amazing creatures. You can also find links in the description.